From snubbing Elon Musk's Starlink proposal to now sending thousands of satellites to defeat Starlink, China isn't messing around with their full-blown hate mission of all things Musk. Call it an overreaction or a natural response towards Musk. In order to directly compete with and keep track of SpaceX's Starlink constellations, the Chinese are getting ready to launch nearly 13,000 satellites into low Earth orbit. Such a large number of satellites are becoming less and less of a surprise. They're not without flaws loss, as any astronomer whose data has been spoiled by the reflectivity of the devices will be eager to point out. But they have the ability to expand internet access and boost communication effectiveness globally. So it's not surprising that China wants to participate. The goal of the initiative, codenamed GW, is being managed by a recently formed organization. It's called China Satellite Network Group Co., and they're all set to launch 12,992 little satellites into space. Just to give you an idea. SpaceX anticipates having 12,000 satellites in orbit by 2027, and with a final total of 40,000 orbiting devices, this would dwarf Starlink's current count of about 3,500 satellites. So what's the rush, China? They feel compelled to move so swiftly on this project to stop Starlink from monopolizing the low-Earth orbit space, and also to prevent other businesses or countries benefiting from using it. With the help of the China Satellite Network Group Co., researchers at the People's Liberation Army Space Engineering University in Beijing are working to guarantee that the nation has a spot in low orbit. The main goal is to prevent the Starlink constellation from excessively displacing low orbit resources and to seize opportunities and advantages at higher orbital altitudes. Not to forget the main goal, which of course is to suppress Starlink. Also, they've stated that they hope to use their own constellations to track and possibly even take down Starlink satellites. The group's researchers are worried about the maneuverability of Musk's satellites. Why? Well, they believe it may be used to target and obliterate other spacecraft, just like the US suspected the worst of the Chinese balloon. Anyway, China aims to match that promise by introducing their own fleet of gadgets into the mix. A little excessive, no? The country also wants to be able to identify each Starlink satellite and be aware of its movements. You see, they worry about the potential military uses of the Starlink satellite constellations, particularly particularly in light of the ongoing situation in Ukraine. The academics from the Space Engineering University have advised China to launch an international anti-Starlink coalition to support this goal. This coalition might demand that SpaceX publicly disclose the precise positions of its satellites. But since this information is still unavailable, China's only chance of monitoring Starlink may be to launch themselves into orbit. Now, let's talk some facts about Starlink. China has expressed concern that that while Starlink was created to provide high-speed internet to customers around the world, it might also be used for global surveillance. While I'd take anything Elon Musk says with a grain of salt, the Chinese paranoia is on another level. Truth is, SpaceX intends to launch thousands more satellites, but their satellite constellation consists of about 3,700 satellites right now. And yes, the company is beginning to apply Starlink technology to military and governmental applications, not in the way they fear though. Musk justified SpaceX's choice to prevent Ukraine from using the Starlink satellite internet system to launch drone attacks against Russia, citing the threat of escalation of conflict that leads to World War III. Smart move, gotta give that to him. It's currently the backbone of Ukraine's internet needs, when everything else has been destroyed. President of SpaceX, Gwen Shotwell, claimed that steps had been taken to prevent the Ukrainian military from using Starlink, but to control unmanned drones in the middle of a conflict, as it was never meant to be weaponized. Of course, not everyone is happy with the choice, though. Former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly urged Musk to remove the limitations on Ukraine's usage of Starlink on Twitter, but Musk is firm on his decision. He reminded everyone that SpaceX commercial terminals, like other commercial devices, are intended for private use, not military use. What's more, he said they haven't used their right to switch them off, but are making a lot of effort to act morally. Sounds like a thinly veiled threat if you ask me. Speaking of threats, Russia's got plenty. Starlink's ethical dilemma arises because both the US and its allies in Europe invested millions to provide the satellite internet service to Ukraine. Also, at least one official from the Ukrainian government openly urged SpaceX to relax the restrictions. On the other hand, Russia has threatened to attack Starlink under the guise of objecting 
according to its usage in Ukraine. Even more impressively, one Russian business claims to have developed equipment that can locate and hunt down Starlink dishes on the battlefield. Just two allies, Russia and China, working together to give Musk a hard time. By the way, insiders are calling China's suppressed Starlink mission a bluff. You see, President Xi Jinping has urged China to increase its technological independence in all spheres, especially amid tight relations with the United States and export restrictions that have prevented Chinese companies from obtaining some cutting-edge computing processors. A fleet of about 13,000 LEO satellites was to be built by the state-owned China Satellite Network Group Corp by 2020, but construction has been slow so far. Experts predict that China will only have 4,000 operational LEO satellites by 2027, down from the several hundred currently in service, not 13,000 anytime soon. Oh, and it's not like Elon didn't try to involve China with Starlink. In 2021, he revealed that the Chinese government didn't want him to market Starlink satellite internet business there. Beijing made it clear that it disapproves of his recent deployment of SpaceX's satellite in Ukraine. They're mad that he's helping those people in getting around Russia's internet blockade. In fact, they demanded guarantees that he wouldn't promote Starlink in China. Not sure if that ended up happening, but it puts Musk in a very difficult position. More than 20% of his electric car company Tesla's income comes from China, and the company has a sizable plant there. Also, China is clear on its stance on the Russia-Ukraine conflict. They've refrained from using the term invasion to describe Russia's war on Ukraine this year in contrast to the United States and other countries. Musk also anticipates that Tesla will be caught up in the Chinese fight over Taiwan, but will still work to serve Chinese consumers. Yikes, wouldn't want to be him right now. It's worth noting that China isn't being the most transparent right now. In recent years, they've placed a larger emphasis on developing their own technologies, notably in the aerospace industry. Telecom giants like China Mobile and Huawei have contributed to them having one of the highest 5G internet adoption rates in the world. Also, China's Beidou satellite communication system was completed in 2020, and it's comparable to the GPS system owned by the US government. Which reminds me of something. Enter the spy balloon. China has insisted that it was a weather balloon that floated off course on its own. But as much as we want to believe it, the US claims that the balloon was engaged in a much more sinister activity. Since then, there have been a number of further flying object incidents, increasing everyone's anxiety even further. According to government sources, it had solar panels mounted on the metal truss dangling below the balloon, as well as collection pod equipment, including innovative equipment that could gather communication signals and sensitive information. The equipment, which included several antennas that were certainly capable of collecting and geolocating communications, was for nothing but intelligence and surveillance. Plain and simple. Where's that energy now, huh? That's all on China's plan to suppress Starlink.